This session is about what is DevOps process flow. We do have several stages, layers involved in DevOps process flow. But in this session, I've taken the basic approach and stages involved. From a beginner perspective, uh, this would help you to understand the DevOps process flow. And to understand better, I've taken a layman scenario to compare the DevOps flow. The biryani flow. Assume I'm hungry and ordering a biryani. So let's see the different stages involved in preparing and delivering the biryani. To start with, the chef gets the ingredients like rice, cereals, vegetables, chicken, masala. Then cooks it. Once the biryani is ready, time to taste it. If it needs improvement, add required ingredients or if the taste is good, move to the packaging section where uh, biryani gets parceled and delivered it through uh, Swiggy, Somato or Uber. Right. Finally, the biryani is delivered, consumed and monitored for the feedback. This is a simple biryani flow and its stages of getting cooked and delivered. Now, let's compare this with the DevOps flow. Here, as an application owner, I am requesting the developer to build a website. So to start with, the developer develops the code. Here I've taken the example uh, with Java. So we have the JavaScript, class files, XML files, JSP files, and HTML files. After developing the code, it is committed in the source code management tools like GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket. Then build it using Ant, Maven, or Gradle. Once done, time to test the code for uh, business logic and performance using uh, tools like JUnit or JMeter or Cucumber. In case of any feedback, loop it back to the developer. Else, good to move ahead with packaging. That is, pushing the code to the artifactory tools like uh, Nexus, JFrog or Pulp or uh, Docker Hub or uh, local Docker registry. As a final stage, deploy, operate, and monitor the application. You can deploy using continuous integration tools like uh, Jenkins, Spinnaker, or Bamboo. If the deployment has to be on uh, multiple servers, environment, and in an effective way, then use configuration management tools like Ansible or Tiff or Puppet. Then monitor the server application for performance using uh, monitoring tools like Prometheus, Grafana or Splunk. This is all about the DevOps process flow to get the application hit production. That is code, build, test, package, deploy, operate and monitor. Benefits of DevOps flow uh, would count on speed, rapid delivery, reliability, improved collaboration and security. In short, how fast can you make it? As a next step, to integrate all these tools and to get the application hit the market in a faster pace comes the continuous integration, continuous delivery and continuous deployment. That's a different topic to discuss about and let's see that in the upcoming sessions. Thank you all.